Hey, how's everybody doing? Well, today we got part four of the bullhead build and kind of a sneak preview of how far we make it today. You, as you can see, this, it, it is about ready to go. And just I wanted to give you a little scale comparison. Here's my grasshopper. The rims can fit, the whole tires can fit inside the rims of the bullhead. All right, so, well, today, if you couldn't tell, I got the uh, the shocks on, the tires in place, all the electronics done, uh, the first coat of paint on the body, it's still got a ways to go. I still have to do uh, the graphics, and the, the windshield still needs to go in, and just a ton of chrome parts to go all over this thing. Other than that, we're really close to being wrapped up. So, I'm going to go ahead and get started with uh, build part four and uh, stay tuned. We, we will see it drive today. Thanks for uh, hanging on through this build and like and subscribe.
Yeah, I don't know what's up with the speed controller. It just keeps like overheating right off the bat. It'll go a few couple, a couple feet and then stop. And it's a full battery, so I don't really know what the, what its deal is. If you let it set for a second, then it'll go a little bit again. Oh, well, I'm not real fond of this speed controller. Now I've gone through all the programming steps, and I've done it about three times, and I get, keep getting the same result. It'll work for just a moment and then stop just like that. So I've got a uh, a Hobby Wing two motor speed controller. See that, that that's all I'm, and then it stops again. So I got a Hobby Wing speed controller it's meant for two motors. I was gonna throw in my Emax. I think it's gonna go in this to see if that makes a difference. And I've set the endpoints. I've uh, set the neutral position. I've, I've reset everything several times. It just doesn't doesn't want to work. All right, everybody, we're wrapping up the video here. Uh, I see from my test run, I'm having some problems out of that speed controller, and you know I thought it might have been me at first, but I have gone through the instructions and reset everything several times, and I've had several uh, Tamiya speed controllers before, never really had a problem. I followed the uh, the steps through here for setting your endpoints and everything, and what happens is it just keeps like it almost overheating right off the bat. So what's going to end up happening is uh, I've got one of these laying around. I'll throw that in there and see if that helps. But all right, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll get back with you the full run video. Hopefully more operational than it was previously. Thanks a lot.